Well, in less than four months, this case has evolved from a robbery investigation to an officer-involved shooting, and now a civil lawsuit has been filed against the police department and the city. Our Rudy Trevino breaks it all down for us in this timeline. That shooting incident occurred while police were investigating an armed robbery that took place at the High Ho convenience store in the 3900 block of Baldwin. But that was the second such holdup in that area on the same day. Sometime before 10 a.m., the case store on Mohawk and Huron was also held up by robbers. And this is most shocking because uh, one was looking for actually ATM machine with a big duffel bag. Since I don't have it, they were aiming at me, and another was back up with a gun with a mask. Corpus Christi police were already on alert, searching for the robbers, fitting the description of the two men who were caught on the case store's video security system. Then, around the same time period, the gunmen moved on to their next target, the High Ho convenience store on Baldwin. As with the case store, the entire holdup was caught on video by the store security cameras, establishing what the suspects were wearing and what they were armed with. A bolo, or be on the lookout alarm, was sent out to all police units on patrol. Among those out in the field were Senior Officer Gilbert Cantu and Officer Jacqueline de Leon, who were out on the city's west side. Sometime around 5 p.m., as they were driving through the 200 block of Torreon Street, they spotted and made contact with 23-year-old Richard Salazar. Officers said Salazar appeared to be pulling a gun from his waistband. That's when they fired on him and wounded him. While this incident was happening, around 6 o'clock, police made contact with a vehicle at the intersection of North Staples and La Pan Streets with two suspects matching the robbery suspect's description. Turned out to be the two men involved in the aggravated robberies at the Hi-Ho convenience store on Baldwin and the case store armed robbery. Three guns, two shotguns and a handgun, clothing and disguises used in the commission of both robberies were later located and later tagged into evidence. 26-year-old Timothy Lial was arrested arrested for aggravated robbery along with 10 outstanding municipal court warrants. A 16-year-old male was also arrested and charged with aggravated robbery and unlawful carrying of a weapon as he still had one of the weapons used in the commission of the robbery on his person. Police also arrested a third man, 18-year-old Lucas Martinez, who was charged with aggravated robbery. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.